As the year comes to a close, I wanted to share a look back at some of the work I've been doing for you in the Senate. Our veterans have served and sacrificed so much for us, and I'm fighting to make sure that they get the care they have earned and deserve. With our desire on a bipartisan basis to make sure those who have defended this nation and served our nation and answered the call of duty receive the very best. As our state continues to face a heroin and opioid abuse epidemic, I've worked across the aisle to help secure resources for those on the front lines and support for prevention, treatment, and recovery. We need most to confront this public health crisis and to confront the public safety issues that go with it are more prevention, more treatment options, and more support for individuals in recovery. I visited with employers and workers from Colebrook to Nashua and pushed for policies that help their companies grow and create more jobs. I spent time enjoying our beautiful outdoors and I'm fighting to preserve it for generations to come through programs like the Land and Water Conservation Fund. And it's really about leaving a better place and preserving the great beauty of this country and that's what the Land and Water Conservation Fund does. As a mom, I'm excited for what the future holds for my kids, and I want all our children to have equal opportunities for a quality education. That's why I push for strengthening STEM learning in the education reform bill, and I'm backing legislation to make it easier for students and families to afford college. All of us know someone, a family member, friend, or loved one who has been impacted by breast cancer. In addition to supporting efforts to find a cure for this horrible disease, I was proud to work across party lines to pass legislation to protect access to annual mammograms for women between ages of 40 and 74. Working with my team, we reached out to every town in New Hampshire through constituent office hours, the town hall meetings I held in every county this year, and visits throughout our state. As 2015 comes to a close, I'm grateful for all that we've accomplished together, and I'll continue to fight for you every single day in the year ahead.